learning yours. In this class, we want to solve this problem. And you are finding the value of x. From here, we can rewrite this as 2 raised to power 3, then raised to power x, plus 2 raised to power x, equals to 130. And uh, when we apply the laws of indices from here, this 3 and x multiply. So we can interchange it and say this is 2 raised to power x, then raised to power 3, plus 2 raised to power x, we give us 430. And from there, we can let 2 raised to power x be a letter. So let 2 raised to power x represent a letter y. And then when we write that again now, this will give us y cube, that's y raised to power 3 plus y equals to 130. And uh, we have replaced 2 raised to power x as y. We then let's bring 130 to this side. I have y cube plus y minus 130 now. Then equals 0. This has formed like a cubic equation here. Then from here, we can replace this plus y with minus 25y, then plus 26y. So when we factor that, we replace y with that, and this will give us y cube minus 25y plus 26y minus 130, then that will equal 0. Then we can group that to 2. When we group it, from here, what is common? When we bring out what is common here, y is common here. We say y into bracket, y square left here, then minus 25 left here, then plus what is common here is 26, that's 26 out, then left with y here, then minus 5 left here, then equal to 0. So from there, we can rewrite this one as y into bracket y square. Then minus 5 squared, 25 can be written as 5 squared, then plus 26 into bracket y minus 5, then equals to 0. And from there, we can see that from here we have difference of 2 squared, which can be written as y multiplied by y plus 5, then times y minus 5, because difference of 2 squared becomes this, then plus 26 into y minus 5, which is equal to 0. Then we can see something from here that y minus 5 is common. So we can take y minus 5 out, so we are going to have y minus 5 out, then what is left is y times y plus 5, which I can write it as y squared plus 5y, when this multiplied, then plus 26 left here, then equals to 0. Then from here, we can see that these two multiplies and the result is 0. Either of them will be 0, so we have y minus 5 is equal to 0, or we have y squared plus 5y plus 26 is equal to 0. Then from there, we can see that on this side, when we solve for y, minus 5 comes here, become plus, so y equals to 5 here. And here we have a quadratic equation, let's test using the discriminant. Discriminant equals to b squared minus 4ac. In this case, our a is the coefficient of y, which is a equals to 1. And our b here is coefficient of y, which is 5. And our c equals to 26. Then our discriminant becomes b squared, that's 5 squared minus 4 ac, and a is 1, our c is 26, and from there this becomes 25, 5 squared is 25 minus 4 times 1 times 26, that will give us 104, then 25 minus 104, this is minus 79, minus 79, which is less than 0. So there will be no resolution here since we have
less than zero so no risk solution here so we can reject this and therefore we have y equals to 5 as a solution here but we know that our y has been represented with 2 raised to power x so we can bring it down and say therefore 2 raised to power x is equal to 5 remember we are finding x then we can take the log on both sides when we take the log on both sides this is log 2 raised to power x equals to log 5 and from there we can see that from law of log in this x can come to the back here this will be x log 2 equals to log 5 and by the time we divide both sides by log 2 to get our x we have x equals to log 5 divided by log 2 and then finally we can write it as x equals to log 5 base 2 and that is our solution from here thank you for joining us also don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more of our videos see you in the next class and bye for now